guys, this is Lucy Polgar from Last Bastion, spo sponsored by Fight Division. I'm here with Dan Bonner, who has just won. So, first of all, congratulations. Oh, Absolutely amazing. The belt looks incredible. <laughs> Pretty generic question, but how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm buzzing. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. So, I will look back on the first three rounds, especially, and be a little bit critical about it. Yeah. I think you've got to be, if you're going to go on to try and become a better fight, you've got to be critical even in your wins. Mm. But yeah, right now, if you ask me that, I'm buzzing, yeah. yeah. I'm the new world, WMO world champion. It's one I've always wanted. Like I say, it's a really nice looking belt. So, yeah, I'm happy now, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's a beautiful belt. And yeah, like I say, I think it's really good that the first thing you've done, obviously, massive celebration. You're going on holiday tomorrow. Yeah. We'll get to that next. Um, but to straight away be like, I'm going to be critical yeah. of those first three. Just straight away as a reflection, yeah. is there anything in particular on the first three that you're not happy with? Just a very slow start, maybe a little bit giving him too much respect. I kind of yeah. was going backwards for the sake of going backwards. And it's, if you're going backwards and scoring, that's one thing, that's a good score. But if you're going backwards and just sitting on the ropes and waiting, yeah. I don't think it, it's a very good look. Do you know what I mean? To the judges, it doesn't look very dominant. So. Just little things like that. And when I was kicking him, they weren't very they weren't very strong, they weren't very effective. When he was kicking me, I, I felt it, you know. But I don't yeah. think he was. I think he was quite comfortable to stand there yeah. and let me hit him because he weren't very effective. So just little things like that. Yeah. yeah. So so what was it then? If um, like obviously you're sort of aware of that in the moment and looking back, like what was it that switched when you was like, actually I'm giving this guy a little bit too much respect now, like game on, let's yeah. go. I got the uh, the older Kev Harper. Oh, looking, <laughs> kick up the arse, yeah. The yeah, yeah, come on, I don't know if I can swear or not, but like, Absolutely. yeah, fucking get your arse in there and throw your hands at you, you goon, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're letting yourself down a little bit, get in there, land some shots, then kick on the end. Yeah. So yeah, and that's what you need in the coach, he's not there to kind of pussyfoot around me, he said, come Absolutely. on, give me the look, give me the Kev Harper look and said, get in there and come on, let your hands go, let's go, we've worked hard for this, yeah. yeah. The Kev Harper look, I yeah, love that, that's, that's it, yeah. notorious yeah, in scary, itself. <laughs> so obviously, massive congratulations and tomorrow the best time and you're going on holiday, yeah, so yeah. that is amazing. Oh, so pretty much, yeah, going to get somewhere to eat now and then Matthew, my brother who's play, playing taxi driver today, is going to take me to the airport and I'm flying at half past five, so oh, wow. again, the show was going to be like last week, wasn't it, or a couple yeah. weeks ago, whatever, so we booked all the flights, shit happens, it's Muay Thai, the date got changed, so my missus and my baby daughter and kind of like, uh, uh, nan and granddad are there already, so I'm going to meet out there for the last four days and just have a really great time now and have a, have a little celebration out there, yeah. Absolutely yeah, amazing. Yeah. So I can see that you've got a couple of stitches yeah, there, a little, yeah. um, little souvenir yeah, from the nice night. So yeah, yeah. So, yeah uh, on holiday, obviously, what we're going to do now with that one. Oh, no, we've just right. said off camera, no yeah, swimming. Yeah. I'll just paddle instead. As long as I'm not, I'm not a very good swimmer anyway. So I'm not drowning anytime soon. So no, I'll just, I'll just chill. You know, probably eat too much. Maybe have a few. I don't drink, but I'm out of a few drinks now. I yeah, don't know. And just, yeah, just celebrate, enjoy time with my daughter. I missed a week of not seeing it. It's kind of, it sounds bad. This nice having the house to myself for this week just to concentrate mm. on the fight and just kind of get in the zone a little bit. But I missed them like mad. So yeah, yeah. It'd be really nice tomorrow when I get to see him. Yeah. So yeah, that's one last thing I just want to touch on, which I'm always dead curious of with fighters. Um, obviously, how old is your little girl? She's just, she's like two and a half years old now. Oh, yeah. So, like, such, such an amazing time, uh, and obviously such a crazy time being a parent. Yeah, yeah. How do you balance it all? Because I find this, and obviously we've been talking about, again, off camera, the difference between, like, Muay Thai and boxing. There's not a lot of money in no, the game, so you're no. doing, like, normal jobs as well, like, working yeah. life, father life. Like, yeah. how do you balance it it's, all? It's really difficult. I say, I've got a brother. We own our own gym. Matthew's a professional mixed martial arts fighter, so we can run the MMA classes at our place, and I do the Muay Thai classes. So it's kind of easy and working your nine to five, because yeah. it can be a bit more flexible. But it is hard, especially in fight camp, and I feel guilty sometimes because my time with my daughter is bath time at night, do you know what I mean? I'm out yeah. all day in the morning, sometimes I don't get to see her in the morning. But I get home from like a 12, 13 hour day and I'm knackered that and I have to say to her, Mrs, can you bath her please? I'm shattered. And you kind of, you do get a bit, bit of the guilt, but I'm doing this for them as well, do you yeah, know what I mean? I'm trying course, to get yeah. a better life for us all and it is a selfish sport. Though, but yeah, if you want to do it, you'll make it happen and there's no excuses and my partner's really supportive, my brother's really supportive. My family supportive, so it's just a, it's a team effort, really. Yeah, yeah it's a that. team effort. So it sounds like between the famous Kev Harper look and his support <laughs> and the family you've got around, you've yeah. got like a really solid That's unit it, yeah. around you. You need that. You need it. I don't think you can do it on your own. It's, it's, done, it's been done before, but I think it does make it so much easier when people are in kind of the same kind of situation as you are and they can help you because you, you need it you know you, you need that support especially when who's come today as well to buy tickets as i said before in another mm -hmm. interview you can't fight on these shows for world titles if you're selling five tickets yeah, 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 you've got to go out there and sell the 50 plus that's tickets cool. because these belts cost money do you know i mean these sanction mm -hmm. fees are expensive so for people to go out there where you and kind of spend their hard-earned money on to come watch and support me it does mean a lot and i'm very grateful for it mm -hmm. Oh, well, it sounds like you've just been absolutely grafting and you really, really deserve the break oh, tomorrow. Cheers, so, you. massive congratulations. You. I hope you have a lovely holiday. And I'll see you oh, soon. Cheers, thank you. Thank you very much. Nice Here we go!